everybody, it's Jesse again, and today I want to talk to you guys about salt painting. Now this is a really cool art project um, that can create a ton of different results. And so the first thing that you're going to need is some construction paper or plain white paper. Totally up to you on how you want your project. You need some Elmer's glue, regular table salt, and watercolor paints. And so for the first part of this project, you're gonna take your glue and you're going to glue a design on your paper. It can be whatever you want. The less detail though, the better your project will turn out. So I'm just gonna pour some glue right on here. I'm gonna make a big giant heart. All right. And while my glue is still wet, I'm gonna take my table salt and I'm just gonna sprinkle it right on top. So what's happening is the glue is gonna hold that salt. And when it's dry, that part of the salt will stick to the paper. The rest of the salt will completely come off. Now you can do salt or you can do sugar. Now with sugar, the tempting part is you wanna eat it. So I prefer salt because you're less apt to eat it. But um, sugar or salt will work. So you're gonna let this set overnight to dry because that glue needs to be 100% dry before you start in on your watercolor. So I'm just gonna scooch this over and bring in a project that I did yesterday. So I went ahead and did this yesterday so it's already good to go and I'm just gonna take my colors, a watercolor, and I'm just gonna start painting. This is liquid watercolor, but if you guys have regular Crayola watercolors or regular watercolor pans, you can totally use whatever type of watercolor you have on hand. Also, food coloring with a little bit of water mixed in does the exact same effect. So I'm just gonna take my watercolor and then I'm just gonna put the paint right on top of the salt. Now what is really cool with watercolor is when you mix salt and watercolor to begin with, what happens is the salt actually crystallizes as it is absorbing the liquid of the water from the paint and creates a really cool starburst effect. And that's what's gonna happen here when it's all dry. All right. So I can't wait to see your guys' projects. So make sure, take a picture of it when you're all done, post it below. I wanna see this amazing artwork you guys are creating. All right, I will talk to you guys later and have fun, bye.